The next morning. Hello there, I am Giant Grodel with more Pokemon Mish Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last part, we took on the Silent Chasm and rescued Jump Off, but when we met up with Shiftry because we were trying to find Shiftry because he hasn't returned from his rescue mission, it turns out that the monster was real and the monster is Zapdos, <laughs> and now we have to scale Mount Thunder to rescue Shiftry. So, let's just do that. So, we're gonna wake up all nice and refreshed. I'm gonna head out of the um, rescue base. Good morning, Steven. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. Okay, we should be headed for Mount Thunder. We should be heading to Mount Thunder to do the shifty rescue, right? But Alakazam said that we should be properly prepared before we try. What should we do? We can go to Mount Thunder right now or later. It's up to you. But anyways, let's do our best like always. That's a great attitude, Cody. Also, uh, before I forget, I'm going to take um, Electro Magnemite with me. Electro the Magnemite, I should say. So join team. Because Magnemite's actually really helpful in Mount Thunder. Because it was, it's like, resists all chicken type moves. And, you know, Zapdos is electric flying, so it's like neutral effective. Because it's half flying, half electric. So, the electric, you know, Zapdos electrics blasts. Um, we can counter with Electro's um, electric blast. And I can't go to the shopping right now because my bag is, my toolbox is full. So let's empty out our toolbox first. That would be a smart idea. Now, um, let's see here. Um, who? this is hard. Um, yeah, special band. I'm going to bring a Petra Berry. I'm going to be like two Petra Berries. I still have the Petra Scarf on myself too. Uh, one berry. Uh, I'll bring a cherry berry, a cherry berry just in case the paralysis, I guess. Well, there's no poison types really in um, Mount Thunder right now, I think about it. That's only in the silent, ch silent Chasm. So yeah, um, I might want to put that cherry berry on myself then. To prevent um, paralysis, so if I get par paralyzed in the dungeon, I can get unparalyzed basically. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna bring a couple one berries. I recommend you bring at least one revive seed to be safe. I'm bringing two because I'm paranoid and stuff um, Yeah, and I think that should be it Hmm, I think I have like one or two many apples Yeah, I'll, t I'll just put the two apples right there and what else? I don't really need a Petra Berry, so yeah. I'm gonna put another uh, one berry too. Okay, um, and then one last thing I wanna just replace the Cherry Berry with the. Well, replace the Petra Scarf that I have on me for a Cherry Berry. So hopefully that works out good. Uh, give. Cherry Berry, give. Petra's cup is put in the toolbox, okay. And yeah, store. Just put the Petra scarf back in the storage. Now, um, I don't think I've mentioned this before. I may I may have, but um if you lose a dungeon, like say you don't have any survivor seats with you and like one of your your partner or your um your, your partner or yourself faints. I mean, if you have Magnemite, I think I think Mag if Magnemite fa faints in the dungeon, she just goes back to the rescue mission, by th rescue um, base. But you may still use a revive seed. But if you have no revive seeds and one of your partners faint or yourself faints, then you lose like half your items and like all your money. So keep that in mind. Make that's why it's so important to like store items in your in the King's Con storage. Um, team, we gotta take another look. Summary, one bay, okay. And summary, red gummy. Okay, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna give it one berry to um, Magnemite. Doing it wrong. Give. And just to be safe, I'm gonna put store the red gummy. I'm sorry, this is taking so long. I didn't mean for it to take this long. Okay, there we go. And one berry. Take. Um, one berries, one berries, one berries. There we go, I have 12 of them, cool. Take. And one last thing I'm gonna take from the storage is 
Uh, well, I need to take another revive seed. I only have one more, but that's okay. And then la the last thing I want to take is a max elixir. So my only max elixir. I'm just I just want to be well prepared. That's all. So let me take one more look at my items. Not team items. Okay, that's good. Let's go shopping. Oh, I don't have any money, but I can just want to look around. I will see. I might want to buy that revive seed. Brick break, break, cool. For twenty five hundred poke dollar pokey, I should say. Not poke dollars, pokey. Um two thousand. Okay, I'm gonna take two hundred just to buy that revive seed. I'm gonna put the rivalries in storage too. Now we gotta store the rest of our money. Yes, I know. Sorry, I misclicked. Other than that, um, we can talk to Jump Off too. I'm so glad to see her back safe. Thank you, but Shifty is in trouble now. Shifty came and rescued me. I hope he is safe. Yes, I hope so too. Other than that, I think we should be ready to take on Mount Thunder. Yeah, let's do it. Go to Mount Thunder. Now, Mount Thunder is 10 floors, but it has a peak of 3 floors. And on the third floor is always Apertosis. Spoiler alert, sorry, I'll put a text away in case you guys don't know. In case there's like a person who doesn't know that Zapdos is on that floor. Um, so yeah. This is the foot of Mount Thunder. I wonder if Alexam's team is already on their way. Zapdos. That sounds very tough. For I'm shaking. I can't be I can't sorry, I can't be scared now. Our objective is simple. We res we're rescuing Shifty. Steven, let's try our best. I have to burp, and that's why it's, my commentary was kind of weird there for a second. I still kind of have to burp too, so it's awkward. Um, let's see, I'm gonna take a... Um, okay, so... Mmm, moves... I want... I want, um... Cody to use all his moves this time around. And what about Electro? Didn't mean, I meant to go to his moves. No, that's okay. Um, for my set move, I'm gonna use um, tackle, I guess, because water. Well, water gun is neutral effective against electric, so I'll go with water gun, I guess. Now we can do. We can go on our way. Oh, we're right next to the steps, and a lot of pokey on the steps. Cool. So that was easy. I like the music here. It's really fun. Oh, a weedle, so you can't get poisoned. Dang it! I was miss. I forgot about that. So. Oh well, I better be prepared for that poison if that's going to be an issue. I'm going to avoid that electric. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a car while I'm going off in the background. Oh nice, oh it burned the uh, main electric, cool. There we go. Let's see here, um, ah, uh, Weedle. There we go, nice. Oh, it's just gonna loop and connect to the way. Right. Yeah, it's gonna connect right here. Okay, I'm gonna go right, and hopefully it's not left. <laughs> this is where the stairs are, I mean. Yeah, I was right. I took the right path. <sighs> this is gonna be a long dungeon. I'm just saying that right now. Let's go to 4-3. Another- okay, the coil- the, I put the same coil while I'm just going off right now. <laughs> yeah. Let's go up. 
Uh, and yeah, you can't get definitely poison this dungeon. I forgot about that. So it wouldn't have helped. It would help if I would have brought some petri berries or something. You know. It's just gonna connect there. Let's go to the right then. Let's go up. I'm really hoping I can find the stairs quickly. No, I meant to use water gun. How oh, good that missed. Gust attack. Oh my gosh, now sand attack's gonna make me miss. Oh my gosh. No. This is just a handful right here. Oh my gosh, why'd you have to miss again? Oh my gosh, don't. Okay, good. It's a missing fest right here. And I used the wrong. Oh no. sucks yeah poisoned I don't think I can do anything with that because like I don't have a petra berry oh my gosh this is bad oh wait the po I don't know if the poison goes away I can't even remember oh my gosh I need to find a petra berry oh wait um and I think it only lasts for a four that's really good then because you can oh that was nice okay I was getting really worried there for a second no, I meant to use water gun. There we go. I don't want to deal with an electric right now. <laughs> I just don't. Uh, this is so weird. Let's just take out the electric. Yeah, pink gummy, nice. Can okay, I avoid that Pidgeotto? Blast seed. Okay, that was so cool. I might try a blast seed later on. Oh man. Oh, TM. Um, and this is also the- Oh, dig. Yes, that's a good TM. Um, this is also where, um, from here on out you can really find- You can sometimes find TMs in dungeons and that's really nice. In fact, I want to try to go to the dig. Uh, use. Watch your can't learn it. Um, do I want to teach Dig to Squirtle? Mmm, I don't know. Because it'd be really effective against Watch types. I just don't know. I mean, I think Dig is an uh, cheap TM. You can buy it at the Kekleon shop if it's there. Um, I might go for Dig on me. Yeah, I might want to which should be forgotten. Um, let's give it a tail whip. I can always forget, um, dig later on. So yeah, the move tail whip will be forgotten, yes. And, yeah, squirtle and dig. So it covers the, um, it'll cover the, um, weak weaknesses for, um, luxury type Pokemon. Let's set that as a new move. I mean, I'm interesting, because I always teach dig to Cody in my past playthroughs of this game but I've never really taught it to myself because I've always played a Squirtle when I um a Squirtle or a different water type um you know this game okay I mean maybe using dig on that cacnea wasn't the best move but it still fainted it so that's good let's go to the far right hope I can find the staircase soon don't wake up that okay I'm gonna just Wait, I could just use bubble there. Dang it. Let's use dig again. I think dig only has 10 PP though, so I gotta be careful. Oh, it's 12 PP. Okay, cool. Just, um, avoid the... Avoid the... There we know, but obviously that didn't work. Um... Let me see here. Face. Yeah, okay, face it. I'm gonna use bubble on this thing just for the experience. Proceed.
can just get through this. Of course. Of course Cody faints it by the time I use dig. Yeah, okay. Nice. I should move my microphone closer here. You might hear noise. Because it's me moving my microphone, but yeah. Okay, there we go. Nice. Hopefully you guys can hear me better now. Um so after the 10 floors, there's a save point, and at this save point, you know, hunger gets restored, your belly gets restored, I guess you could say, your PP gets restored, your power points, I guess you could say, and your health gets restored. So it's a save point, and it's really convenient. And now, um, I'm gonna split the video right here and stop it, um, because the peak is 3 floors, and then, well, the third floor is where Zapdos is, as I said before. But yeah, I'm gonna, um, save. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Mission Dungeon Road Rescue Team walkthrough guide part. And the next part will take on, hopefully, Zapdos and finish Mount Thunder. So this has been Giant Go again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye. And hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Mission Dungeon Road Rescue Team. In the next part of my Pokemon Mission Dungeon Road Rescue Team. Let's play or walk the guide.